Hello Tankers! We were pleased to hear that you liked the new interface, the new vlog design, and that you were actively writing about it in the comments. We're eager to share the latest information about development plans with you. Already next Tuesday, International Women's Day or March 8th, Tanky's team has prepared a major event for all players starting from March 4th till March 14th. Thematic design awaits you in the game, and Lilac Petals Paint is waiting for you in the garage. Today, 30% discounts on items from the shop. Tomorrow, the same discounts are waiting for you in the garage. And on Sunday, there will be 30% discounts on micro upgrades and 50% discounts on speed ups. We're also doubling earned experience and battle funds this weekend and next. Special offers, coin boxes, and ultra containers will be available for purchase during the event. Everything in order. We tried to diversify special offers so that everyone can find their own one. Choose among four bundles and pick the one that will be useful for you. We have once again refreshed the content of Ultra Containers and added a new augment. This time it is Paralyzing Mix for Freeze. If you do not have any Ultra Containers to open, do not worry as we have prepared seven special missions that will help you get them. When you complete all seven, Take the prize for the Super Mission. Additional missions are also available for Premium or Battle Pass owners. Also, only on March 8th, one mission will become available, in which you will only need to finish one battle being in the winning team. It remains to tell about the game modes for the weekend. Join the DM battles on the Bridges map from March 4th till March 6th. It is advisable to still have time to pick up gold boxes falling all over the map. Please note that this time you will have one limitation. You cannot use overdrives in these battles. Next weekend, from March 11th till 13th, play on the following maps. Kohos, Death Track and Siege. There are no rules because everyone will be on their own. We've come closer to solving another problem that appeared in the game after moving to the HTML5 technology. Dynamic lighting will be returning to the game. Our team has developed a new technology that will let us add lighting not only for shots, but also for tank headlights and map spotlights. On the current stage, shot effects do not differ from the ones we had in the Flash version. Now we are tweaking settings for each turret. It will take some time, but it is important for optimization. We will keep you updated on our progress with adding this technology to the game. Today we can show you how the twins' shot effects look. Look closely when shooting near a wall or along a road, and you'll see that the flying plasma ball now illuminates the surfaces. Another thing is that on night mode maps, supply boxes are made more visible, which is also important. Keep an eye on the test server. Maybe we will let you check these changes yourselves. In the next episodes of the vlog, we will show you what the effects are on other turrets. This deserves a like. We got helpful feedback about the new interface for the garage and lobby. This will help us decide how the other screens should look. Now we can show the new interface for missions. We're also working on some changes in the shop and challenge screens. The latter gained some more colors, and the entrance screen features a sleek minimalist design. Our front-end developers will do their best to implement the designs in the game faster, and we will be looking forward to seeing these updates in the game. We continue to answer your burning questions. You can also ask a question in the forum topic. The link is in the description. Elkatala Gamer asks, Now with everything added, the Juggernaut looks weak against some overdrives or alterations, and it would have to be the opposite, a super powerful tank. So do you plan to boost the Juggernaut? Juggernaut was conceived as a speed-dependent tank. It could never withstand all enemy shots but it can move very fast and destroy the enemy from a safe distance. There's no need to buff Juggernaut for now. Riddler8 asks, will you add the new skin containers to challenges? No, but starting from this challenge, you will now see skins among prizes. We have no plans to return skin containers to challenges and will not be providing substitute rewards for skins you already have. If you already have a skin from the final level of the gold tier, then you may want to consider skipping that challenge. Fusion1201 asks, Hello, what do you think about this idea? 
let players sell supplies they don't need and get crystals instead. You can never have enough supplies. Error code 404 asks, are you going to add a crystal to Tancoin converter? The planned new contracts feature will maybe, just maybe let you do so. You definitely won't like the exchange rate, but there might be an option. Eveltal9 asks, will you ever buff this core of Isida when healing? Because I literally healed Juggernaut from the beginning to the end of a battle and I have only 100 score. We are cautious about giving a lot of points for healing Juggernaut, because players might find a way to abuse it. Remember that you can use the supercharged status effect. When it's activated, you always deal critical healing damage, allowing you to earn points faster. Last time, you had to guess which tank would destroy Viking. The correct answer is 4. Congratulations to the winners! And here's the next question. That's all for this week. As always, we are happy to see your feedback in the comments section. Don't forget to like the video and hit the bell to be the first to know whenever we post a new video. See ya! Bye!